there's like a mic. Hi. How are you, man? What's up? How are you? Hello. Not a bad place to do an interview. Yeah, Ooh, this bench is cold on my butt. Did you want a warming pillow? <laughs> no. Coffee on the way? You arrived uh, yesterday or the day before? Yesterday, yeah. Yesterday, okay. And I saw you uh, tweeted some, some badass pictures with, with your suit. Did you have fun yesterday? Yeah, it's good to get dressed up in Zurich. I feel like when in Zurich, you should be uh, looking dapper. There's something about the city that makes me feel like I want to be dapper. And you did look snapper dapper. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Um, wh what's your first impression of Zurich? Have you been here before? No, I've never all? been to Switzerland. This is my first time. Seriously, you've yeah. never been to Switzerland? Never. Well, such, a, such an honor then. It took then, 39 Sankara. years. 39. Finally you made it. I'm here, it's beautiful. I mean, it's, it's breathtaking and um, uh, it, it has a really beautiful mix of old and new, which is something I, I really like. Okay. Um, have you gotten a chance to check out a city at all? Yeah, Last or? night we went uh, bar hopping a little bit, but I oh, don't yeah? know the names, so don't ask me where I went. But uh, I got taken around uh, to a couple right. different bars. Because uh, obviously with scrubs and everything, you're huge over here in Switzerland. Yeah, I, big I learned that, yeah. Have you have you been uh, recognized? Oh yeah, go, like, yeah. JD oh, yeah, I can there? tell that. I, I can I can always tell when I go to a different city in Europe. You know, it's completely different. Some cities they never got the right. show or Garden State. It's huge over here. Yeah, I could tell. I was uh, I, I got a lot of a uh, lot of love last night. Okay, very good. But you didn't get so uh, drunk that you can't do your press work. No, today. I'm not that much of a very alcohol. very glad to hear. Even um, you were kind of upset with the whole Ambrose with Khalifa thing. I mean, you were, <laughs> The funny thing is I had to look up who they were. I, I, <laughs> no I, way! Well, it's always funny, you know, you get to be my age and you're like, I think I know who that is. I was like right. watching the MTV uh, Video Music Awards and I was uh -huh. like, I don't know who any of these people are. Uh -huh. And then I, I think I wrote that on Twitter and I wrote hashtag I'm old. <laughs> so when, so when, when things like trend on Twitter, sometimes you got to like, wait, I, I have you no, the, I have no the idea who these people are. Let me, let yeah. me look, uh, let me look. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, I was glad to see that you're uh, in tune with the with the young crowd. You know, and kind of uh, the whole thing kind of blew up. But um, you're here to um, to promote uh, your film, also. Wish I was here yes. at the Zurich Film Festival, and I watched it yesterday. And I can so glad to say it's another it's another badass movie. Thank you, man. Seriously, Thank I, you I, very I love much. it. Thank you. I was a big fan of Garden State, your first movie, which you uh, directed and wrote and uh, starred in it, obviously. Yeah. But I really think you you kind of took it to the to the next level there. Did it feel like um, to you as well? Or? Yeah. Well, it took me ten years to, to make another movie, and I, I definitely feel like I grew up. I mm -hmm. learned a lot, and you know it. it the beard's a bit grayer. Yeah. Oh my yeah, God. Okay. This this gray all came in this year making making a movie, and I was doing a Broadway show. Right. Um, right, right. And crowdfunding it, which was a whole new way to make a movie. Exactly. So all of this came in, all of this gray came in this year. Mid I had I had perfectly brown beard hair like you. Mm -hmm. But if you make a movie and do a Broadway show at the same time, your beard goes gray. Uh, you're not burnt out yet? I am. I'm completely burnt out. I'm fried. This is the last. Zurich is the final bit of press uh, for the film. So uh, I'm going to go home and It all collapse. ends today. It all ends today all in Zurich. The fulfillment of your baby, which yes, I was here. Yes, that's true. I'm going to go home and weep in the fetal position. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, kind of, you get mature when you do a, a Woody Allen um, a Broadway. Bullets Over Broadway it ended yeah. a month ago. Yeah. It was like over 100 shows that you did. 189 shows in a row. 189 shows yeah. in a row. And you did eight shows a week. Eight that's shows insane. A week. It's insane. It really is. I don't recommend anyone uh, try it at home. How did you cope with that? You know, sometimes when you're working so hard on something, it's best if you don't think about it. You kind of just go into tunnel vision. I mean, to do to release a, your own film like I have, and simultaneously uh, do eight shows a week mm -hmm. on Broadway, it just it's impossible. Um, right. But I just didn't think about it too much. I just I, when I was doing the show, I did the show, and then I would travel and do the movie, and um, I just felt really blessed to be to, to be lucky enough to do them. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I realized it was just too much for one for one mm -hmm. person, and uh, it was it was. Pretty exhausting. And I think you must have also felt uh, very, very blessed when you raised uh, two million bucks within 48 hours of yeah. starting your Kickstarter project to yeah. finance. Uh, wish I was here since your mortgage, sugar daddy, friend uh, couldn't afford to to, uh, to finance it again yeah. like it did with Garden State. I mean, how did that feel? Well, both films were made in, in really out of the box ways because mm -hmm. you know these these films. Um, you know, don't get made easily. And so you have to mm -hmm. find really interesting ways to make them. The first time I found a, a guy who was outside of the business and who financed Garden State. H have you known him before? 
No, a I friend met, of yours? You met no, him? No, I met him. Oh, okay. um, you know, um, I met him. You know, I went looking for the traditional ways weren't working. And, mm -hmm. um, and so I, w I met him through, th through my agents. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and in this case, um, you know, this advent of Kickstarter and crowdfunding, it was kind mm -hmm. of like, well, let's, let's try this experiment. What would mm -hmm. happen if there were absolutely no suits involved mm -hmm. in the making of a no movie? Big let's pause for one moment and grab our coffee. Oh, very nicely. Thank you, darling. Yeah. I actually stopped drinking coffee Thank you. Half, half a year ago, but uh, for you, I make an exception. Thank you. I think well, I think if you're going to have a vice, uh, thank, thank you. you. It's, it's got to be coffee. Oh, thank, thank you. you very much. It's a pretty, it's a pretty, um, it's a pretty benign vice to have, uh -huh. especially when there's so many better vices. <laughs> for example, no details here. I think well, everyone who's watching can insert their own favorite yeah. vice. That's I don't true. need to tell them. That's true. But I'm sorry, we're a Kickstarter. Yeah, so the idea was, you know, every filmmaker out there, every artist often is, is confronted with the compromises they have to make. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you're David Fincher or if you're making your first movie. You're going to come up against, okay, you can only have this many days. Okay, mm -hmm. you have to make these compromises. Mm -hmm. And so the idea behind the experiment was, well, what if we didn't? Mm -hmm. What if, you know, in, if, if, the, if the people who the movie was for bought a t-shirt or they bought a, a trip to visit the set or, or the vinyl or they bought vinyl or they Excellent bought a idea. ticket to an advanced screening or they bought me helping them propose to their girlfriend mm -hmm. whatever we sold anything and everything and then the the money from that along with my own money mm -hmm. would pay for the movie and so it sort of flipped the whole concept of film finance on its head and and that so that was the that was the out of the box idea we had a month to raise the money we raised it in 48 hours. Which is insane. Which was insane. And, and it was so insane that it then started this whole web conversation. Well, is this right? What is this? Um, which is good. It's a new thing. It should, it should have a, a proper debate. But most importantly, for the 47,000 people who participated, uh, we made a really cool movie. And um, it was, there was absolutely no corporate involvement in that film um, mm -hmm. in its making. 